And another big story we're following tonight. It's been more than a week now since Baltimore's light rail service came to a screeching halt. At a news conference today, MTA officials said crews are working day and night to repair the mechanical issues that caused the shutdown, but the process may continue to take some time. Right, WJZ is live at 11 o'clock tonight. Caroline Forback on your corner at Cromwell Station in Glen Burnie. And she had the chance to speak with neighbors who are beyond frustrated tonight, Caroline. Well, that's right. And today, MTA leaders were able to shed light on what these mechanical issues are and what they're doing to fix them. But riders still don't have an answer as to when they can expect service to resume. So I do sympathize. I, I am a transit rider. This has impacted my commute as well. MTA Administrator Holly Arnold says she is one of the around 10,000 people who rely on Baltimore's light rail daily. I use it to get to and from work. But now inconvenienced since service was suspended last Thursday. And now that it's it's gone, it's kind of an inconvenience. It's costing me more to get to and from work. Yeah, I've been late for a lot of appointments and stuff. MTA suspended all light rail services indefinitely after discovering high voltage conduits in the rail cars were punctured. That's what caused the fire in October that injured a rider. The agency also found damage to the intercar connection cables. At a news conference Friday, Administrator Arnold said inspectors examined 41 rail cars for conduit damage and completed 17 repairs so far. Transportation officials have also repaired two intercar connectors. We are acting in the interest of, of the rider's safety, and so we wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for that. We understand the impact, and we're going to restore services as quickly as we can. But Arnold still didn't have a timeline of when service will be restored. She did say rail cars will re enter service once they are safely certified. In the meantime, MTA continues providing free shuttle buses at all stations. But riders tell WJZ they miss the reliability and efficiency of the light rail. I would trip. It turned it into like a three hour trip. If the bus said it was going to be somewhere at a certain time and you get there, it may or may not be there at that time. So I'm just hoping the light rail gets back up and running as soon as possible. Step. And Arnold says limited service will resume once eight rental cars become available. Now, MTA did launch a web page where riders can track progress and check on shuttle service. You can find that link on our website, WJZ.com. Reporting live here in Glen Burnie, Caroline Forback for WJZ.